Welcome back to I It, Buy It, Flip It, Ship It. <laughs> and making her debut, this is my beautiful wife, Danielle. Say hi. Uh, we're going to play a little game. I got four things here that we sold, and she's going to try to guess what they sold for. Uh, I will give a hint as far as what I paid for it, but sometimes that's not going to help. Uh, but this is a poly bag with new Lego in it. This is from the Lego Mario Bowser Peach Castle. It's got Bowser in it, but I'm parting this out. This is Toadette, new in the bag. I uh, didn't open her, wanted to keep her value. And when I actually break everything down into its unit price, this actually cost me about $18. So, based on that information, it won't help you. What do you think I sold it for? Um, well, I'm going to have more than $18. <laughs> <laughs> so it's probably more like $15. Oh, we're going low. Oh, okay. All right. Well, it's actually $17.50. You were close. $17.50 plus $5 shipping. Uh, the Ludwig I sold out of this set actually did better. as $45. So I'm at least making my money back with Toad. I still have Bowser to sell. And uh, I think he's going to do pretty well, too. I got him listed for around $60. So, on to the next one. All right, here's the next one. I'm not going to toss this one in the air, but this is an iPod Touch, 16 gigabyte. For those of you who remember when they put that on the back of the, of the devices. Um, I'm trying to see what generation this was. Second generation. So, we're going back, back to when touches were pretty cool. All right, so I got to tell you, I don't remember what I paid for this. Probably like maybe five, six bucks, maybe more. I don't know. But go ahead and tell me what you think I sold it for on eBay. Did it go for nostalgia or go for just That's what they I wanted thought. one? I don't know. <laughs> it's a good question. I took a best offer. Maybe 40. 40? That is ambitious. No, not 40. <laughs> Actually, eighteen dollars. You know, when you when you see this stuff, you think it's going to be worth a lot of money, but it's not. Eighteen dollars plus about five dollars shipping. This one. And we got a comic book here. That was pretty cool, right? Where did it come from? Uh, so we got this comic. This is a trade paperback. You've seen me sell these. Thirty-four cents invested from the big book bulk buy. And this is Batgirl. This one. Um, what do you think, Danielle? We've got a nice quality, but you want to smell it. Oh, maybe maybe hold it so you can get the weight of it. It's not sealed, so it's it's used. It's being sold used. What do you think I sold this one for? 20 to 25. Okay, 20 to 25. Let's check the iPad here. And nope, 65. Oh. 65 plus $7 shipping. This is a good one. I'm happy. I wish I had more of these. And we got another book here. This... <laughs> uh, this is Batman and Harley Quinn. Now this one is sealed and it is, you know, we had a lot of Harley Quinn stuff in this big book bulk buy and some of it was good, some of it's not. Uh, but this one being sealed may add some value to it. What do you think? 34 cents invested into this and I sold it for 20. $20. You think this was less than the Batgirl comic? Or were you looking at my iPad here? I wasn't looking. $10. <laughs> Best offer. She didn't get any of these right except for she was close with Toadette. $10 plus $5 shipping. This one was apparently not desirable or there was a ton of them out there so the band was not high. Well, congratulations. You got one right. I love you. Thanks for joining me on my show. If you want to see Danielle back on the show with me, please give me a like and comment Danielle in the comments. Real quick, if you like learning about what sells on eBay, hit that subscribe button so you can be alerted to more videos like this. Got these Lego. This is the Classic Bricks uh, Creative Supplement. Bright is what they're calling this. Set number one is for $6.94. I think I found this at a local thrift store for only $4.
Um, and I know I only paid four dollars. I can't remember where. Maybe it was Walmart clearance, but I think it was a thrift store. And this one sold for twenty four dollars plus about ten dollars shipping. Got this Mego fiftieth anniversary Aquaman figure, and uh, found this on clearance at Walmart. This is a old rendition of how they used to make it. Reminds me a lot of the uh, uh, robot chicken figures that were in that show. Anyways, $5 in on clearance, and this sold for $22 free shipping. That was the best offer. It was pretty close to my asking price, so why not? And we got another blow mold. This is the third out of three, so it's the last one. Paid $3 for all of those. Uh, well, $3 each. And uh, this is the last one. You can see it's got a little paint damage, but like the other ones, it's got the hole for a light, but no light, no, uh, no power cord. Anyways, by itself, this sold for $35 plus, about $9 shipping. Don't sleep on the blow mold. For the sake of nostalgia, I looked this guy up. He was at the Benz. Only paid about maybe 25 cents for him. That is Professor Utonium from the Powerpuff Girls, if you remember. Sugar Spice, everything nice. And uh, he uh, accidentally added Chemical X. But anyways, enough about that. $13 sold, free shipping, very light. And uh, I mean, this is a nothing purchase, so pretty happy with that. TJ Hooker, the complete series. This is a DVD set, still sealed. I uh, found this uh, when I went and picked up some DC uh, action figures from a guy that was selling something he got from an auction or storage unit. So I did very well on that purchase. That's actually the same guy I went back to for a second time to buy all those trade paperback books. So always keep in touch with people who are selling, especially if you know they're going to be selling more stuff in the future. Always check back in with them because that trade paperback book purchase that I made has been very lucrative. So far, I've made about $1,300 uh, back from a $200 initial purchase. So again, that is an amazing deal and uh, I'll be reaching back out to him uh, many times, I'm sure. But this only got about $5 into and it sold for $28 plus, plus about $4, $5 shipping. And here is a game. I found this at Goodwill. This is a deck building game, Forever Evil, DC Comics, so bad guys, uh, basically. But anyways, it's missing like five cards from the main deck, so I, I'm not getting top dollar for this, but I only paid about four bucks, and this sold for $15 plus $7 shipping. I got this lot of doll food. This is more like our generation, 18 inch doll size, although it's not branded and I don't think it is our generation or any of those other dolls, My Journey dolls or whatever they are now, I really don't know. But I uh, found a bunch of this food at the bins and uh, I put it up on eBay like yesterday and it sold today. Uh, asked for like maybe 18 bucks and took the best offer of 15 for that. Free shipping. I've got another Walmart clearance sale here. This is the Mego dolls that I found, or action figures. Uh, but this is the Wolfman. He came with the fly. It was a pair of them together that I bought. I believe those were $5. So only $2.50 into this particular action figure. And he sold for $20 free shipping. I've got some uh, make it yourself, do it yourself kind of arts and crafts stuff here. This is the company Holiday, I believe, Christmas ornament kit. This one in particular is number 4088. Uh, anyways, this I have zero dollars into. This is a sale for Aunt Marilyn. We got a, rid of a lot of the uh, Betty Boop stuff. We even sold some clown stuff, uh, but that was at the yard sale. Uh, but this one in particular, this one sold for $15 free ship. All right, I'm on my way to meet up somebody who wanted to do a eBay pickup sale. 
and uh, for good reason too. This is a TV, so I've got this Sharp TV here, and uh, it's a big guy. I prefer to do meetups for stuff like this because the shipping is just time consuming to try to pack this up and then worried about it making it where it's supposed to go with it's still working okay and without any damage. Now, I've shipped TVs before, um, but I prefer these pickups. It's just so much easier. So I got a local guy here, found me on eBay. He actually contacted me back in July and uh, ghosted me, you know, the Homer Simpson meme, went back in the bush, didn't hear from him. And then he came back out and said, hey, you know, I'm ready to do it. I pulled the trigger, I went ahead and bought it. So he did buy it, it's pending pickup. So we're meeting up at a safe location, like I always meet at a uh, police station, which is totally cool with us going there. And uh, we're gonna uh, sell this thing. I think I've maybe paid about five bucks for this TV and the buyer is paying 35 for it. So it's not a huge deal. I have sold a, a TV before, I can't remember the brand, but it was a uh, $100, sale or a hundred or something dollars and then it was close to 200 after shipping um but yeah this one's not a huge thing i actually have another one of these that i'll have to list after this but uh, i'll show you the comps here and I'll, I'll put it up on the screen so you can see if i haven't already done that but yep about to go do this thing And we got another book here. This is from the Big Book Bulk Buy. This is Ultimatum by Marvel. And uh, this is a hardback. It isn't sealed. It is used. Even used, though, it did sell very well. It sold for $40 plus $9 shipping. And as you know, I only got $0.34 cents into this. And we got another book here. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh, Omnibus. Omnibus? I don't know. Anyways, it's actually a whole stack. I've got six here. I don't think it's a complete series, but six was enough to lot up. Now, some things, as you know, will sell better in a lot. So this one wasn't going to sell better individually, so I put them all together. $0.34 cents a piece. It's a little over $2 for this, and all together, these sold for uh, $60 plus about $12 shipping. Got another comic here. This one sold uh, for $24 plus $6 shipping. I think that's right. Or $26 plus $4. I don't know. Can't remember. Spider-Man. Ultimate Spider-Man and his amazing friends. There you go. There are some condition issues. If that wasn't the case, this one would have gone for a little bit more money. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, keep on eyeing, buying, flipping, and shipping!